Dr. Lemus uh, has uh, you know, fairly robust data in the clinical trials uh, in for pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors. Uh, the Radian 3 looks at the general uh, uh, PNAP population with metastatic disease and disease progression. Uh, there was a separate Radian 1 study that looked at the activity of Dr. Lemus in chemotherapy refractory uh, or uh, patients. And uh, I think the fairly consistent results have been seen in terms of benefit. Uh, other treatment options in this disease could include uh, uh, sunitinib, uh, which is a VEGF inhibitor, or cytotoxic chemotherapy. Streptozocin is the agent that is approved by the FDA. So uh, in my mind, um, and for majority of patients, uh, I think uh, the targeted therapies uh, probably represent a better initial treatment comparing to the more toxic cytotoxic uh, agents. There are no study that directly compares uh, Everolimus to sunitinib, so some of the treatment decisions can, can be individualized. Uh, either based on adverse events profile, for example, someone who has uh, uh, cardiovascular disease, uh, heart failure, or uh, bad hypertension, probably would not be very good candidates uh, for sunitinib, uh, whereas patients who have uh, bad lung disease may not be a good candidate for Everolimus. Uh, other factors that may help you to choose one agent was the other uh, ha and may include uh, the activity of the drugs on hormone secretion. So one difference is that in the Everolimus studies, uh, we have demonstrated that, that Everolimus reduce uh, hormonal output from these tumors, be it insulin, glucagon, uh, or, or gastrin. So they, those patients may have a greater uh, you know, reason to use a mTOR inhibitor compared to uh, soon, isn't it?